So we have to evaluate the inverse Laplace transform of the function 2s squared plus 10s over s squared minus 2s plus 5 times s plus 1. So in this question, you are supposed to express a uh, given function in terms of partial fractions. And then from the partial fractions, uh, you get the inverse of each fraction and get the solution. But then uh, the first step was to use completing the squares method on this quadratic part or quad, uh, quadratic part in the denominator that can help you to get uh, an expression which takes one of the standard forms of the Laplace transforms. So let's see a uh, step-by-step -step process. So the question was to find the inverse Laplace transform of 2s squared plus 10s. Denominator is s squared minus 2s plus 5 multiplied by s plus 1. Now, so uh, we use completing the squares method to rewrite this denominator in the form s minus a squared plus b squared. Now, s squared, so uh, complete the square. For this quadratic, term s squared minus 2s plus 5. So we'll have s squared minus 2s plus 5. So remember, if we have an expression of the form x squared plus bx plus c, uh, this product expression to complete the square, we simply add b over 2 squared and then balance this c and b over two squared so that we get uh, the solution simplifying to the original value of the expression. So here our b is minus two. So we add minus two over two squared. But then uh, when you evaluate this one, minus two over two is one, so minus one. So minus one squared is one. So we have added one so that now when we write this one as s squared minus 2s plus minus 2 over 2 squared. So this part is completed. But because this number or this constant is supposed to be 5, but then when we have this expression that is in square form, we'll only have a constant to be 1. Then we have to add 4 so that the total value of the constant of the expression is five. So this is the same as S minus one squared, and then plus four is the same as two squared. So therefore that is how we can derive at the quadratic part in the denominator of the expression. So then our uh, next step, we'll write 2s squared plus 10s divided by s squared minus 2s plus 5 into s plus 1 can be written as 2s squared plus 10s divided by s minus 1 squared plus two squared and then multiplied by s plus one. 
Now, partial fraction decomposition of this rational function will be the same as a into s minus one plus b over s minus one squared and then plus two squared and then plus two uh, plus c over s plus one. Now, uh, once we have this, we then rewrite this one as 2s squared plus 10s divided by s minus 1 squared plus 2 squared and then s plus 1 is the same as a into s minus one plus b multiplied by s plus one plus c into s minus one squared plus two squared and then everything divided by this common denominator s minus one squared plus two squared multiplied by s plus one so then now we put the numerator as 2s squared plus 10s equals to a s minus one plus b and then s plus one plus c into s minus one squared and then plus two squared. Now when s is negative one, then we are sure that we will not have this this part because we'll be now having minus one plus one which is zero so we'll have two into minus one squared plus ten into minus one equals two c into minus one minus one squared plus two squared so this will be two minus ten equals to c into this will be four plus four which will be now eight c so this means that minus eight equals to eight c which implies c equals to minus one and then when s is one we'll have two into one squared plus 10 times one equals to so one minus one if you so not have this part so just have b into two because we'll have one plus one plus c into this part will be zero so two squared which is four so which means this will be two plus 10 equals to two B plus four C, which means this is 12. And then uh, this will give us two B plus four, but see we have gotten the answer to be minus one. So which means 12 equals to two B minus four. Take to the left hand side, we'll have a uh, 12 plus 4 equals to 2b 
12 plus 5 is 16. So 16, you divide, dividing by two, you get B to B8. So it means 2B equals to 16, which implies B is eight. Now, when we let S to be zero, we'll have zero equals to every term in this equation be zero because this one uh, is having S in each of the two terms. So remember this is the equation that we are making the substitutions in. So putting S for zero will get this left hand side to be zero. So I'll have A and then times minus one and then plus B And then you multiply by zero plus one, which is just one. And then this will be C into zero minus one is minus one squared is positive one plus two squared, which is four. So we'll have zero equals to minus a plus b plus 5c. Now that means uh, because b we have as 8, so 0 equals to minus a plus 8, and then plus c, we got the other to be minus 1, so 5 times minus 1. So this will give us positive a, now taking it to the left hand side, will be eight minus five, which means a is three. So therefore our expression will be two s squared plus 10 s divided by s squared minus two s and then plus five multiplied by s plus one will be given by now remember we had a into s minus one and our value of a three so we'll have three into s minus one plus b uh, this expression plus b and our solution for b is eight so b plus eight divided by s minus one squared plus two squared and then minus c or plus c over s plus one and c is minus one so that's why we have minus one over s plus one now this means that the inverse laplace transform of 2s squared plus 10s over s squared minus 2s plus 5 multiplied by s plus 1 is the same as the inverse Laplace transform of 3 into s minus 1 plus 8 divided by s minus 1 squared plus two squared and then minus inverse Laplace transform of one over S plus one. We are doing this one because inverse Laplace operator is a linear operator. So this, uh, we dis dis distribute the inverse operator to this term and this other term. Now, this one here, remember that the inverse Laplace transform. So uh, note that the inverse Laplace transform 
of B over S minus A squared plus B squared is given by E raised power AT sine of BT. And then inverse Laplace transform of S minus A over S minus A squared plus B squared is given by E raised power AT cosine of BT. Now what is making us to think from this line of view is because of the structure of this expression here that S minus one squared plus two squared. And then in the numerator, we have an S minus one term and also constant term. So uh, we split this one into two. Uh, you see three into S minus one plus eight over S minus one squared plus two squared. So if uh, we write this one as three, into s minus one divided by s minus one squared plus two squared and then plus eight over s minus one squared plus two squared it is still the same same expression we haven't changed the value of this expression so uh, this one because three is a constant factoring out then we'll actually see that we can apply this formula and on this constant term, we expect to have a B here. So if this two squared, then it means that B is two. So then this can be written as eight is the same as writing uh, two squared times two. So that now uh, we write it as eight being the same as four times two. And then I will actually make use of this other formula here for sine. So therefore, I will say, if I call this one f of s so that I don't rewrite it again. So this implies that inverse Laplace transform of the function f of s is the same as, now this one is split into two. I write it as inverse Laplace transform of three into s minus one over s minus one squared and then plus two squared and then plus inverse Laplace transform of eight over s minus one squared and then plus two squared and then this other one there's no problem was the standard one inverse Laplace transform of one over s plus one now to make use of the first formula, uh, this expression here, I simply factor out three and have three inverse Laplace transform of S minus one over S minus one squared plus two squared. And I know that here my A is one and my B is two. So this simply going to give me E raised power a, which is one, so we'll have T. And then uh, this one will be cosine of two T. And then plus, now here, because this B is two, then I expect to have B here. So I can write eight as four times two. So I can write it as four. And then inverse Laplace transform of two over S minus one squared plus two squared and then minus inverse Laplace transform of one over S plus one. So this, all these three now, this and this one and this one here are standard. And the first one will be given by three e raised power T cos A is one cosine of two T plus the second one will have four e raised power A remains to be one. So t sine of b is 2 so 2t two and then remember the inverse laplace transform of 1 
over s plus a is given by e raised to the power minus a t. This by definition. So s plus one means that a is one. So putting a equals to one, we get e raised to the power minus t. So therefore, the solution to the given problem is 3 e raised power t cos of 2t plus 4 e raised power t sine of 2t minus e raised power minus t. Thank you.